Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. Now today we have this topology and we have some instructions. First of all, we start up the device and configure the name of router as DHCP server. So I already named the device as DHCP server. You can change like this. And inside router, I will change the uh, name of router as DHCP server. I will show you. And the second one is using router router as our DHCP server below step below enable a DHCP server we will enable the DHCP server on router and put IP address of router and DHCP work interface and configure the pool provide the DNS we will configure this as DNS address DNS domain name server domain name server is a server which provides the IP address uh, least period of three days and exclude the IP address. Uh, this is exclude IP address when DHCP server provide the IP address to PCs. This address will not provide by the DHCP server except these uh, address. All other address provide by the DHCP server. And I will show you how to configure this. First of all, uh, start the device. I have already started the device. We'll go to router and system view. System name as DHCP server. DHCP server. Now in DHCP server, first of all, what to do? We have to go in interface. Interface G 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will give the IP address IP address of router is this one 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 and 24 as subnet mask okay inside this interface we will now configure DHCP DHCP make this router as DHCP sorry I have to for, I have forgot to enable DHCP we will go back uh, we will have a command DHCP enable enable so DHCP server enable on this PC again we will go to same interface G0 slash 0 slash 0 and now we have a command DHCP select interface DHCP select interface interface if we will put this command it means that at this interface uh, we have to give uh, any IP DHCP server can give okay DHCP server enable if any PC connect to this side this network DHCP server will provide the IP address I will show you how we and then the next command is we have to configure the DNS okay we have the command DHCP server DNS if you put question marks you will see this command DNS list so we can configure one or more DNS so we have only one DNS here uh, 9.9. .9 oh sorry command DNS 9.9.9.9 .9 so DNS is configured and now we have the least period time this least period should be three days so again we will go DHCP server lease period lease day 3 ok and one more we should exclude this IP address so we will exclude this IP address on this interface DHCP server exclude oh sorry exclude IP address is this 10.10.10.2 accept this IP address all IP address DHCP server give to PCs okay the commands are ready uh, any other thing in router no so now we have to check the connectivity we have to save this configuration save yes yes configuration is saved now okay now what to do now here we will first uh, check uh, the 
current configuration what we have configured so quit display current configuration if you put this display current configuration you can see that we have configured this uh, IP address of this interface and DHCP select interface we exclude this IP address and least time of a three day least time of three day is DHCP server least three day zero minute zero and DNS list DNS list is this we configure and three day least time least time means after three days DHCP will uh, change the IP address if you continuously connect so here so we will capture data packet on this interface on this interface via Wildshark so and we will uh, DHCP enable on PC1 PC2 now we will enable how to enable DHCP on uh, PCs to connect uh, to get the automatically IP address from DHCP server now this is the DHCP server we will uh, get the IP address now we don't need to manually give the IP address we will get automatically now we will select DHCP server and apply apply after that we will go to the uh, command prompt we will type IP config IP config now this is the gateway as we know that this is the gateway address here we give this gateway and this is the IP address provide the DHCP server so this PC have this IP address we don't need to manually configure the IP address on this uh, PC and at this PC sorry we select DHCP that automatically this PC IP config uh, DHCP server already give the IP address now we, we are just checking what is the IP address of this PC so this PC have two dot uh, 253 this is the IP address given by so we will ping the PC from here uh, 10 dot oh, sorry ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 254 which is the hits IP address it's pinging now we will ping the neighbor PC PC2 PC2 is 253 now it's pinging it means this that the uh, DHCP server is working and giving the IP if we ping 10.10.10.2 10. 10. 10. 10. Uh, sorry ping 10.10.10.2 10. 10. 10. 10. it will be unreachable because DHCP does not provide this IP address to anyone look it's unreachable if we search 10.10.10.3 so it's also unreachable because uh, DCP does not assign this IP address to anyone. Okay, that that's all. We configure DHCP server, DNS, and all other. Now, last step is test. We test the connectivity and uh, packet. So now we will check the packet capturing. So we will connect here and uh, data capture. Data capture on this interface G. 0 slash 0 slash 11 so now you can see the Wireshark yes Wireshark is working so I will show you how to capture the data through Wireshark let him load and yes it's ready now we will ping the PC this interface will con uh, capture the data 253 253 which is uh, this PC I will ping this PC from this PC so traffic go from here to there so at this interface Wireshark will capture the data so I will ping so it's pinging it means that I will open Wireshark so you can see this first first he uh, send the ARP request then four packet of uh, data ICMP packets ICMP request packet, ICMP reply packet, ICMP request packet, ICMP reply packet. Four packets sent by this PC. You can see. So that's all for today's video. We follow all instructions. We done with that. Now we have to save the file. Save the file. You can go PC right click. First of all, you have to save the 
configuration then you can export otherwise you can't export this file so that's all for today thank you